So uh, here we are going to install Ubuntu on a new system which has no operating system on it. Uh, let's start the computer. Uh, it's an HP computer so we'll go to the boot menu by pressing F9. So I have attached a flash drive that has uh, an Ubuntu installed on it so we'll select the UEFI generic flash disk press enter now try or install Ubuntu we'll go with this one enter so it is uh, loading the operating system after it loads it we'll have an option of installing it probably on the desktop So here we are, uh, Ubuntu is asking us for the language that will be English or whatever you want, click next. Then we have two options. If you want to try Ubuntu, you can directly try it without installing it from the USB. But uh, we are going to install it on the system, so we'll select option number one and click next. Then uh, keyboard layout, of course, uh, I'm going with the English. If you want to change it, you can and then click next. Now it is asking me that uh, it uh, it cannot connect to an internet, uh, no Wi-Fi devices, no wired connection detected. Um, so I'll just go with the, the third option. I don't want to connect to the internet now. Click next. Now uh, for here, I'll choose the uh, full installation option. Uh, uh, it, it really depends on your uh, usage. So for us, uh, we, I'm going to go with the default installation, not with the full installation, because I, I don't have to use all the other programs like Office and other utilities and web browser and games. I'm going to make it uh, 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 a login node for the uh, cluster computer where we are going to use some research software. So I don't need the extra software. I'll install it myself. So I'm going with the default installation so click next now it is asking uh, that in this system there is some debian gnu uh, bulls eye uh, present so if you want to install ubuntu along with the other operating system you can select option number one otherwise uh, the second option is erase disk and install ubuntu we are going with this option because uh, we want to format the disk completely and then install the operating system on it Now it is telling us that uh, there is one hard disk that names NVMe 0 N1 and uh, it will uh, be formatted with uh, some partitions as mentioned below. Uh, we'll go to click install and uh, now we have to select the time zone. Here is Karachi. Uh, just click next. And then here uh, we have to fill the details, username, computer name, password, and then click next. So after filling the details, uh, clicking next. Now uh, you can choose a theme, which one do you want, light or dark? It's up to you and then click next. Now it has started the installation. Uh, you can see at the bottom it says installing this system. It will take some time and then restart the system and then your Ubuntu is ready. So it says it is installed and ready to use. Uh, we are going to restart it now. So here we are. Uh, We'll just log in, enter the password, and you can see Ubuntu is ready to use.